Hello all, this is Mustard Sport and welcome to Talk is Cheap Part 1. Where we're going to discuss the burning issues surrounding Norwich City and first up is the return of the buzzer game. Now uh, joining me once again here, uh, EDP sports journalist Mark Armstrong and football analyst and man behind Holtmania, Matt Wallace. I know you like that title, Matt. I know, I know you do. <laughs> uh, right, it's going to be the return of the buzzer game. As I said, back it or bin it, that is what these two have to do to the statements I'm going to give them. If they take too long, and uh, they have 20 seconds to do so, if they take too long, uh, then they get this noise. And I get to enjoy giving you the buzzer. It's very important. Right then, competitive faces, gents. This is very important. Uh, Matt, I will come to you first, if I may. Here we go. Back or bin this. If Johnny Housen keeps impressing as he is, he shouldn't be far behind Southampton stars in getting an England call. Yeah, I uh, completely agree. Uh, I'm a big fan of Johnny Housen. I think he's given a lot to the side, especially in a more advanced role. Uh, and when you look at the quality of England midfielders, especially some like Jordan Henderson and uh, Adam Lallana, who are on the fringes of the England team, he's not far behind them at all. He's a good player. Oh, perfect. Well, you've got to allow me to buzz. <laughs> that, they're the rules. It was very good. I like the answer. That was probably more important. All right, then, Mark. Here we go. Here's one for you. If Liverpool can do it, then Norwich should look at accommodating two strikers in their starting eleven more often. I would have been that. Uh, I think that you, you can't really compare the two. Uh, they've got completely different sets of players. and it, it, Liverpool have got two players in Daniel Sturridge and Luis Suarez, but you've actually got to get them into the team. wouldn't necessarily agree that's the case with, with Norwich. Um, you've got to see where, whether uh, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel can come back injury-free. I was enjoying that, though. Yes, indeed. And? And, and then go from there. Uh, hopefully, Hooper will get his chance as well. But uh, whether that's in a slightly withdrawn role, I'd suggest. Mm, it's an interesting one. You've still got to figure that one out, Chris Hewton. Uh, speaking of which, Matt, here's your second one. The pressure on Chris Hewton has eased, but I still feel he should help himself out by bringing in an attacking coach. Uh, back to a degree. I mean, I, it's a very American idea that you have specific coaches, coaches for certain phases of the game. Um, but if you look at the type of player and the type of coach he's been, which is quite uh, defensive, you know, backing his shape and so on, I think Colin Coldwood's quite similar. Uh, some new ideas on the training field. Oh, I've got to carry on. I was enjoying Wouldn't that. Wouldn't go amiss, especially when it looks like we look so devo devoid of ideas going forward. It's an interesting one. I know Chris Hewton feels that he's got enough yeah. as he is, so we'll, we'll see how it develops anyway. And finally, Mark, here we go. This to equalise. It's, as, you know, it's 2-1, it's obviously. <laughs> no competition. <laughs> it's, like, it's like England with uh, Roy Hodgson. Here we go. Um, with Joe Hart only starting one of England's friendlies this week, John Ruddy must get at least 45 minutes of action if he's a serious backup for Roy Hodgson. I would definitely back that. He's, he's got to be allow, uh, allow, allowed a chance, uh, along with Fraser Forster as well. It's time that, that England did look beyond Joe Hart. I mean, I think he is the number one still, even after dropping out of Manchester City's team. But if he does get injured or he does completely lose his form, uh, then you've got to look beyond that and hopefully John Ruddy will be the one. Fair enough. Uh, who's number two, do you reckon, at the moment, Forster or Ruddy? I think Forster is. But I, I don't agree with that, but I, th I think that's how, how Hodgson sees it. Yeah, I think that's probably right. All right then, uh, well, 2-2. Two, two. You, you pulled through, Mark. Well done. Great stuff. Uh, thanks, gents. Good effort. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget the second part of our Talk is Cheap videos this week will be on its way shortly. And if you want to join us in the studio for our future debates, then get in touch with us. You can do, do so on Twitter, at Mustard TV, or you can get a hold of me, at Michael J. Bailey. Uh, so we'll be back with another video later in the week. In the meantime, goodbye.